The Australian Jewish Association this week highlighted the track record of one of those so-called climate independents, former ABC journalist Zoe Daniels, who is standing in the seat of Goldstein, which has the second highest Jewish community in Melbourne. Turns out that only last year, when Israel came under a murderous rocket assault from Palestinian terrorists in Gaza, Zoe Daniels signed an open letter along with a bevy of ABC lovies that, according to the Australian Jewish Association's Alan Freeman, was openly hostile to Israel and her citizens. This petition talked about, quote, Israeli settler organisations threatening Palestinians in occupied East Jerusalem with forced expulsions. And how Israel maintains an apartheid regime against Palestinians. It went on to erase all Jewish connection to the Temple Mount, warning of, quote again, Israeli vigilante mobs attacking Palestinians. The petition called on journalists and media workers to basically advocate against Israel by prioritising the Palestinian perspective and ignoring any of the facts behind the Hamas-instigated war of May 2021 and Israel's need to defend its citizens. When challenged about this, Zoe Daniel replied that, quote, Some time ago I signed a letter, Do Better on Palestine. I did not write the letter, and if I had, I would have framed it very differently. The letter makes several assumptions and did not take into account the complexity of the situation at the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, Zoe. Firstly, note Zoe's use of the phrase some time ago. Really? It was less than a year ago that Zoe signed that letter. And as for the measly, I did not write the letter and if I did, I would have framed it differently. What, she just uh, signs stuff willy-nilly? What, what? This person wants to sit in Parliament making laws for you and me. Here, where do I sign, says Zoe. Oh, what does it say? Give me a break. Voters in Goldstein might also care to take into account Zoe Daniels' work as an ABC journalist, such as when she attacked Donald Trump for his recognition of Jerusalem and relocating the US Embassy. So Zoe sneered that he is just satisfying wealthy Jewish donors. Hmm, make of that what you will. Followed by a completely flawed analysis where Zoe Daniels predicted that the Jerusalem move would damage US relations with neighbouring Arab states. Whereas, in fact, the complete opposite is what occurred. The first peace treaties in decades were signed by un and under Donald Trump after the move of the embassy. Nice work, Climate 200. You're really on the ball there, aren't you, you mob?